Good afternoon. A while back, I did an unboxing of the Explore QRZ1 radio. And today, I'm going to tell you what I like about this little radio. This little radio right here. This is the little radio I unboxed a few months ago. I like it because the audio was clear and crisp. Really good audio with this radio. The receiver is good. Most Andy Talkies receiver is pretty good. Uh, but this one seems to do a, a good job. Uh, it seems to receive pretty well, even on the little rubber duck antenna that comes with it. Which is almost basically most an HT antennas are almost like a dummy load. Anyway, uh, it's easy to operate. Uh, it's not hard to operate this radio, and the manual, uh, as I think I might have, I might have said before, comes in good English. It's not broken English. It's easy to understand. Okay, uh, that is a plus right there. Now you can get software from RT Systems to program it, and that I do like. I do like having that software because that makes it easy to program. Anyway, the price. The price of this little radio is uh, $60. And there's a, if you get a, like I said, you get a lot of features with this little radio considering it's a $60 radio, okay? Uh, you can get the high capacity battery. This is the regular battery on the side right now. This one right here is a regular regular battery and uh, It depends on how many watts you're putting out. You know if you're putting out five watts Then it's not gonna last as long as if you're using a couple of watts, you know, and that's the same with any radio uh, a lot of there are a couple of there are a few things like maybe a couple of things that I don't like about it one I don't I have not been able to find a case that fits this. I found a universal case. I've used it and it's all right. I mean, it's it's fine, but I would rather have a case that actually is made to fit this. Uh, that's one thing that I don't like. Uh, there is one, let's see, there is one other thing that I didn't like about it and that was uh, if you want to skip a channel, like, for instance, if it's, you know, if there's some kind of interference coming in. And it could be from a light in your house. It could be from uh, your TV. You could put off, you know, put off, be putting off a little interference. Anything like that. Anything electronic like that can put off some interference. You, you know, you, that, if there is a way, someone can tell me. I've not found a way to lock out a channel or skip a channel when it's scanning to uh, skip it so it doesn't. But for the most part... This little radio is pretty nice. It's the only things that I didn't like about it, but the mo I, I really like it otherwise. It's uh, a nice little radio. It has a belt clip on the back of the battery. That's awesome because I like to be able to clip it onto my belt so I can keep track of it so I don't have to, so I don't have to hold it in my hand or end up laying it down or lose it. So those are the things that I like about this radio. And there's only, like I said, there's only two dislikes to about five or six likes. I mean, hey, that's not bad. Uh, you know, I, I really like it. It's not hard to get it to scan. You hit menu and then use this arrow here and you can go up or down whichever way you need to go and hit and get to scan and then hit menu again and it starts scanning and it's scanning right now. That's, um, it's an external antenna that I have hooked up to this. It's not, it's, uh, it's just a little ground plane antenna that I have. Uh, it's, it does, it receives pretty good on, receives, actually she's received, I, I forgot to tell you about. Up here on top, <laughs> if I can get it to work here, uh, there's a flashlight on top, would you believe? I mean, that's kind of, that's kind of bright there. Let me turn it to the side just a, a little bit, but there's a flashlight right there. That's actually, I went in a, there's a bathroom in our house that doesn't have any, of course, any windows or anything. I went in there and I pushed this little button. And believe it or not, that actually puts off some pretty good light. A lot of radios don't have a flashlight on them or anything. And this little radio, let me tell you, was made for people and anybody. Anybody can buy it. For people who are just getting their license and want something that's not too expensive and has a lot of features. 
Uh, but anyway, anybody can buy this trailer. When they first come out with it, they were giving them away if you could prove you had just gotten your license and they would give you, they would give you the radio. And that was kind of cool. They don't do that now, but they were doing it. And I didn't know about that until after I had bought it, but I, I, that's fine. I've had my license for quite a while and that's all right. I don't, I don't mind that at all. But anyway, thank you.